Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? We are back again with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about firing autism. This is a channel that's been presented to me today by a member. And you know what? I went onto this channel and I watched a few little videos here and there. Then I had to backtrack to see how long firing autism has been on YouTube. Uh, but at the same time, I am still waiting for some videos to be sent to me that I will be directly reacting to as well. So please wait for them. But until then, though, I just have a very simple question that I want to ask every single one of you, especially the people that are coming over to this channel who are a supporter of Father Autism, because the question that I'm about to ask you is a question that I want you to seriously think about before you make any comment. Because I know there's a lot of people on that channel who are very loyal, which is fantastic, which is fine. But I also want you to think about what I'm about to ask you. But before we get into that though, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, including Patreon, and every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. And of course, at the same time, if you are a member, at the same time, if you want to become a member of the channel or Patreon, the links are down below. If you want to become a subscriber, please hit that big red button, notification bell is on, smash the like button, please, to help the channel grow. <laughs> but with that being said though, I be finding it very hard to know how I want to articulate this video, how I want to say what I want to say, because myself in particular, I have my experience of working with children and adults with autism. And also do I have my experience of also doing um, a course in a tomb, okay? Obviously requiring my job that I did. But with that being said though, this is the channel. And as you can see, the very first video was uploaded 10 years ago. Now, obviously within that 10 years ago, there, were, there was a four year gap but I just want you to look at the view count of the videos that have the title autism in it, whether it's the thumbnail or the actual video itself or the video title itself in particular. And you see, as you, and you, you notice that those videos have a significant amount of views. The videos that don't have autism in them at all, whether it's a thumbnail or not, generally have lower set of views, okay? But obviously, as you can see here, the views that definitely generate from this channel are always related around the autism, you know, the autism rather than anything else. So, of course, at first thought, I'm going to think, hmm, seems to me as if they potentially may have made this channel at some point predominantly based on just autism because that's where the views were at. And obviously, the moment that, you know, we started to think about views is the moment where we started to think, so why are you actually making this channel? Why did you continue this journey for 10 plus years? Now, here comes my question, though. On this channel, myself and everyone else who's a subscriber of this channel, okay, and who's a member, we do, not, we do not agree with people that put their children online. Purely because when you're a child, you are not given the option if you want to be online. So you grow up on camera without even having a choice. And that is not fair because a lot of children out there don't want to be on camera. A lot of them don't want to be, they want to be, they don't want to be a part of the peer pressure that comes with it later on in life. But of course, a lot of parents don't, don't give them that option. In fact, some parents will even put their children online and use their children as pure clickbait, as pure cloud, as pure monetization because you have some of them who make, I mean, we, and we've done this video before where some of them have thumbnails and their thumbnails will be like their, their child will be beaten up and they'll be like, oh, my child just fell over. And this, you see blood everywhere on a thumbnail or a child, you're thinking, wow. Some of them even do children mukbangs. You're like, wow, is this what we're doing now? But these are children who don't have autism. And we really don't, don't agree. So here's the thing though. Imagine your child has autism. Do you think it's fair to put your child on camera for 10 plus years? Whether, even though it hasn't been consistent for the whole 10 years, obviously it was inconsistent to begin with. But obviously now it's very consistent. It may not be a film every single day, but let's put it this way. One thing that I know about autism, but this, what I'm about to say to you, relates to everybody. One thing that we all relate to, majority of us anyway, is personal space. For example, if you're in a school and a child is doing their work and the teacher hovers behind them, that triggers anxiety within a child. Within an autistic child, depending on where they're at on the spectrum, some autistic children, it tends to make them scream, act out, because they can't handle the fact that there's someone so close to them who's hovering behind them because it's a form of intimidation. Okay? So here's the thing though. Is it okay to have a child be on camera their whole life? Is that okay? But at the same time, that a child with autism, is that okay? Now listen, if they made a video 10 years ago, just say, hey guys, we've got a, you know, we, we've got a, beautiful, uh, a beautiful baby girl, you know, 
and we just wanted to show you what it's like to have a child with autism. Okay, cool, I get it. Informative, fantastic. And I'm not saying their channel is not informative, I'm just saying, okay, fantastic. But then when you start to make your whole channel based on just your child, predominantly on your child's autism, that's where I think, are we now just most certainly crossing the line? Have you even wondered to, to find out if your child is actually comfortable with being online? Because just because a child is autistic, it doesn't mean you can't find a way to articulate whether they're comfortable. But here's the thing though, should you even get to the stage of actually asking if your child is comfortable? That's the thing that I want to know. Because really and truly within common sense itself, I think you should know already. I don't think it's cool. But listen to me, let's say for example, they made a video once a month or once every few months of their child to say, hey guys, this is the progress since the last one. All right, cool, I can get that. But if you're making a video every single week, there's at least one or two, maybe three uploads of your child every single week. That camera is getting shoved in your child's week face every single week. And one thing that I'll say is this, unless you have, unless you have autism, you never understand. Now, I may have worked with children autism and I may know my fair share of knowledge. A lot of parents out here may have children autism and may know their own fair share of knowledge. But I can tell you this now for sure. Any good parent, any good adult would know that putting a camera in front of any child's face every single day or every other day or just on a weekly basis alone, it's not healthy. It's far from healthy. Like I said before, I don't know how I want to articulate this video. I really don't know how I want to say it because this comes from a place of frustration as well as passion. Now, of course, like I said before, I'm waiting for some videos to come through so I can obviously directly react to those in particular because those ones I've been told have been quite disgusting, quite disturbing. And that is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that the fact that there are some videos from this channel alone that are disgusting, that are disturbing. But yet they're still supporters, still members. And here's the thing though, if it's not about the monetization, then why would you make a members on a channel based on autism? I don't really care what the perks have to come with it because as far as I'm concerned, if you're being informative, you just make your videos and make them informative, that's it. Why take the extra money? Given the fact that any child, any human that has autism, they get a lot of things for free. They get a lot of things discounted. It's not like the extra, it's not like the extra money is needed for their child. It can be for charity, but either way, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? But like I said before the very beginning, I, I'm, I am very much convinced that the reason why this channel became autism-based is purely because that is where the views started coming in. And the more views you get, the more money you get. And that is just the sad truth of youtube obviously of course I'm, of course i'm a youtuber too i know what it's i i know that the more views i get the better it's for me so of course i want more views but at the same time i want more views in a respectful manner but nonetheless ladies and gentlemen that's all i want to say today and i just wanted the people who are part of the channel father and autism the ones that support the channel just to think about what i've said because obviously we're about to dive in and once we dive in of course, if you disagree, that's fine. We are, we are each of our own. But I'm just saying, if you're looking at the comparison between a child with autism and a child doesn't autism, neither one of these children get a choice whether they want to be a camera or not. And their parents just exploit them. You may not see it as them being exploited, but they are being exploited. Even if the parents themselves don't see it as exploitation, you're still exploiting your child to a life that they didn't ask for. That you didn't even consult them for. Like I said, if it was a video every couple months or once a month or whatever, giving us an update on how his child's doing, different conversation. But this is an everyday situation. I mean, this is a weekly situation. Let me know what you're thinking before I continue repeating myself as I always do. <laughs> but with that being said, I look forward to seeing every single one of you down below in the comment section. We're done. We're out. Peace.